We're going to be making some apple and berry scones. So, is it a scone? Is it a scone? Completely up to you, it's whatever way you pronounce it. But let's be honest, you couldn't have an afternoon tea without having a scone. So, to start off, we got 650 grams of flour. We're simply going to add in 100 grams of caster sugar, a pinch of salt, and we want 20 grams of baking powder. Because we're going to be adding a little bit of apple, apple and cinnamon, they're best friends, they get on really well. So we're going to add in a little bit of cinnamon. And again, we've got a lovely vanilla extract here. Generous, two teaspoons full. Always try to use an extract rather than uh, an essence. Essence is synthetic. It's never been in contact with a vanilla pot in its life. So we're just going to mix those little few bits through our flour. And then we've got 125 grams of butter. Just diced up. And simply all we need to do then is we need to rub our, the butter into the flour. So you could just go for your classic scones, pop in some raisin sultanas. Um, you could leave them plain, just use a little bit of vanilla. As I say, we're just going to incorporate some diced apples. So all you're doing is rubbing the butter through your flour. Now, if you really wanted to, you could just get a food processor with the blade attachment and just give it a quick whiz. The blade will cut through the butter and mix it straight through your flour. But if you do that, you're going to have to wash it. You have a lot of clean up to do. It's much quicker just get your hands in, get stuck in. So what we want to do, we want it to look like kind of rough breadcrumbs. Now we're simply going to drop in a diced apple first. One good sized apple, two eggs. And then we're going to be using some buttermilk. We're using 300 grams. So a bit like we would with a bread dough. We got our little scraper again. We're just bringing all our ingredients together. Just once the liquids have been absorbed, just so they're not gonna flow everywhere when you turn that onto the table. Now you just need to bring, start bringing everything together. We don't wanna overwork it, because if we do, we actually are starting to knead. We're activating the gluten. which is making our dough possibly a little bit tighter. So I generally roll it out to about the same thickness as my cutter. Roughly about the same height. Take our little cutter, dip it into some flour. each time, just to stop it from sticking. We'll roughly just work our dough back together again, just reshape it. Should give us just about a dozen. So then just to finish, before we bake them, just for a little bit of brush of egg. So when you're brushing it on top, just a little bit on the top of it. Try not kind of let the egg drip down the sides, because what it does is it kind of acts like glue and kind of pins the, the scone down, which can often stop it then from rising. Just going to help give a nice golden finish as it bakes. And then just for something a little bit different, make a little indentation in the centre. And then you're going to take some fresh berries. So I'm kind of using a mix between blueberries and raspberries. Stuffing a couple into each one. And just to finish it off. A few little flaked almonds. Just a nice crunchy top. And then they're gonna bake for about 18 minutes at 200 degrees. Now our scones have been baking for about 18 minutes. They've jumped up. Lovely golden finish. You can really smell the cinnamon. And then just to finish it off, a little dusting of icing sugar. You got your apples, cinnamon and berry scones.